And you can just start by sitting either cross-legged or just like I am on your heels, nice and comfortable, whichever you prefer. But if you're sitting uh, cross-legged on the floor, just make sure that you're not like rounded forward, that you can sit up with a nice tall spine so you can grab a block or a pillow or fold your mat over a few times to give you a little bit of space. And then go ahead and grab your towel and just reach your arms out in front of you and then bring the towel up towards the ceiling. Just take a nice big stretch like you just woke up. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. And then stretch over to one side, doesn't matter what side. And stretch up and over to the other side. And then come back up to the top. Take a nice big stretch one more time. Take a big breath in. And then from here, if you're like me, where you're now arching your back and your ribs are splayed open, start to feel your tailbone get heavy, your sitting bones get heavy either onto the feet or your floor. And then feel the ribs gently close, the shoulders relax and externally rotate through the upper arms. And your head just kind of floating here. Your arms will have come slightly in front of your head. And then you're just gonna pull your elbows wide to the side as you give a little tug on the towel and reach it back up. And again, gentle little tug on the towel as you reach the crown of your head up and extend the arms, three more. Breathing here as you go. And then pause with your arms up in the air. Give a little tug on that towel, feel your arms externally rotate. And then side bend up and over towards the right Letting your left sitting bone be nice and heavy. Shortening through the right side of your torso. Take a nice breath into your ribs on the left side. And then here you're going to drop your arm. And then grab onto your ear, left ear with your right hand. And then stack your spine up nice and tall. But let that right ear come towards your relaxed shoulder. Taking two breaths here. Last one. And then grab on towards the base of your skull and pull your head down so that your chin is going towards your armpit. One more breath here. And then stack your spine up nice and tall. Grab onto your towel. Press your arms out in front of you. From here, you're going to pull the towel apart and bring your elbows wide to the side. Feel your shoulder blades stay kind of flush on your back and then press the towel away. Think about rolling your knuckles forward so your wrists are nice and straight and then pull the towel in and release. And pull it in and release. Four more. Feeling your shoulder blades slide in towards your spine and then widen a little and be nice and broad across your back. And open to more pulling the towel as you bring it in. Last one, press the towel out, lift the arms up overhead, and side bend up and over to the left, giving a little more tug on that left hand, shortening through the right side, or through the left, opening through those right ribs. And then drop your right arm, grab onto your right ear with your left hand, soften that left shoulder as you stack your spine up nice and tall. Take a few breaths here with that left ear reaching towards your left shoulder. Nose is still pointed forward. And then grab onto the back of your head and send your chin down towards your armpit. Again, keeping that left shoulder relaxed. and then come all the way up and then you are just going to come down onto your back bring your towel with you and bring your head onto the floor let your head be flat on the ground so if you have a ponytail just push it out of the way and then from here take a second and bring the towel towards your hips 
like right in the crease of your hips and then just press it away. See if maybe you can create a little bit more space here in your torso and then float your arms straight up towards the ceiling. Again, check in on your wrists and roll the knuckles forward or just extend the fingertips towards the ceiling, your call. Keeping your back ribs on the mat, your pelvis nice and heavy, you're just gonna bring your arms up overhead, giving a gentle pull on that towel. Only so far that you can keep your positioning through the torso and then float the arms straight up. And then reach them back overhead and float them up. Feeling your abdominals and ribs sort of draw toward your hips as you bring the arms forward. Two more. Pause with your hands right above your shoulders. Bring your right leg up to tabletop and you're going to extend your right leg long and pull it back in and extend and bring it in. Four more. Last one. Pause with your legs bent. Extend the arms overhead, extend the legs, and bring the arms above the shoulders as you pull the knee in. And extend, and bring it back in. Keeping your gaze gently looking down your nose. Hips are heavy. That left leg has not started to fall out to the side. Two. Last one. And then lower that left leg down, or right leg down rather. Left leg comes up into tabletop. Extend it out long. Resist to bring it back in. Think like you have a rubber band between your heel and your sitting bone on this left side. And as you extend, you want it to come flush with the back of the leg. And then as you bend it in, you want to keep a little bit of tension on it. And then extend it long. You don't want it to slap you in the back of the knee. That would feel terrible. And back in. Four more. Check in with your ribs and your wrists. Keeping that weight even across the hips. Two. Good. Now here, extend the arms overhead as you extend the legs and bring it back in. And extend. And back in. Three more. Last one. Bring your right leg up to meet your left leg. Extend the arms in both legs. Pull it in. Arms and legs. And bring it in. Head stays heavy on the floor for now. And if your abdominals are pressing up towards the ceiling, you're going to extend your arm or legs up towards the ceiling and arms only slightly back overhead and then coming to meet in your neutral tabletop and hands above the shoulders. If it feels good, you can lower your legs lower towards the floor, arms farther overhead, but again, keeping your connection. Starting your breath before you move. Last one. And then come all the way in, lower your right leg, lower your left leg, and then just give your hips a little wiggle here. You're going to take your towel and like flatten it out if it was all rolled up into a little roll and then you're going to put it behind your head. So you want the base of your head and the tips of your ears to be covered by the towel. And then you're just going to sort of pull one side and then the other giving yourself, you can either do this with your head on the ground or slightly in the air, a little stretch from one side to the other, finding that support. Wrap through the elbows. You are reaching the elbows long and then up towards the ceiling. And then find your connection through your abdominals and then take a nice big inhale. And on your exhale with your gaze down your nose, you're gonna slide your ribs towards your hips as you curl up into a nice supported position here. And lower all the way back down. And then curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Shoulder blades lifting off the floor. If that's comfortable, you may need to readjust. And 
back down. Pausing at the top, making sure you haven't started to lift, lead with your chin and pull your head away from the towel. Nod or tuck your chin gently, let your head be heavy in the towel. If your arms get tired doing this, you're probably doing this correct where you're really pulling your head along, taking that tension out of your neck. Two more. Last one. Pause here. Right leg into tabletop. Extend it out long and then twist and rotate up and over towards the right and then come back to the center. Twist and rotate towards the right and center. Three more. Two. Last one. Lower that leg down, lower your head. Drop the towel for a second, shake out your arms. If they're tired like mine. And then wrap that towel back around your head. Again, curl the head, neck and shoulders up. Drop the back ribs. Let the head be heavy. Bring your left leg up into tabletop. Extend the leg long and then twist and rotate up and over towards the left for six. Four, make sure that head is not pulling away from the towel. Three more. And last one. And then pause here, bring that hand, that leg in, drop your towel, bring your right leg in, hands behind your head, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up, and you're gonna bring that knee into your chest as you extend the other side, and then switch. And switch. And switch. Thinking about your opposite rib going toward your opposite hip for four. Three, two, last one to each side, and then bring both legs in and gently rock back and forth from one side to the other. Plant your legs down on the ground, grab that towel out from behind your head, and then reach it back up towards the ceiling. You're going to bring your hands back overhead. And then curl the head, neck, and shoulders up as you reach the hands towards the thighs. Give that uh, towel a gentle little pull and slowly lower back down. Hands go overhead, keeping that connection, and then reach them in front of you. And then curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Lower all the way back down, hands overhead. One more time like this. All the way back down, hands overhead. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Pause here. Lift the arms up overhead and then press them back down towards your thighs. Lift the arms overhead. Make sure that chin is tucked. The head is like almost reaching back slightly like you're cradling it in the towel as you lift the arms. Check in with your abdominals. Are they domed and pressed up towards the ceiling? Making sure you're starting your breath before you move. Two more. Last one. Lower all the way back down. Extend your right leg and then your left leg. Hands come overhead. Take a nice big stretch here for a second. You can arch your back, whatever feels good. And then reach long through the fingertips as you start to lift the arms up. Find the connection between your back ribs and the floor. Give that towel a gentle little pull. Bring the arms in front of your eyes and then Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up off the floor. Towel is reaching over your thighs. Reach forward through the hands as you bring your ribs towards your hips on your exhale and you round up and over your legs all the way. Stack your spine up nice and tall. Tuck the pelvis under. Then you are continuing to reach forward, round through the upper body, reach through the legs, they'll slide back with you as you put your sacrum on the ground and then roll all the way back, keeping your connection, bringing the arms just back overhead. And then as you start to bring them in front and they, you find your gaze, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Exhale, round forward all the way over your legs. Give the towel a little squeeze as you stack your spine up nice and tall. Two more, curl the tailbone under, rounding through the torso. Feel the connection between your ribs and your hips get shorter. And then when your sacrum comes down, it lengthens out as you lower all the way down. 
overhead. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Exhale. And reach forward. Stack your spine up nice and tall. One more time, going all the way down. Bring those hands overhead. Bring your right leg into tabletop, your left leg up to meet it. And then from here, reach the hands towards the shins. Extend the right leg, lift the arms. Bring it back in, switching sides. Again, check in in those abdominals. Starting your breath before you move the arms or the legs. Shoulder blades, the tips of them are just off the floor or just on the floor. And if you need, you can obviously always lower your head all the way down. We're going to do three more. And you can play around with it. See what happens when you don't breathe or you hold your breath versus you start your breath first. Last one. Bring your knees all the way in. Grab onto them with that towel. And bring your knees into your chest and gently rock back and forth from one side to the other. You can bring this behind your knees if that feels better. And then bring the towel towards or underneath on the other side of your glutes, placing your feet down on the ground. Take a second here. Find nice length through the neck. Bring your hands back at your sides. Feet are pressing into the floor. So from here, you're going to tuck your pelvis under. Feel that distance between the hips and the ribs close, opening through the front of the pelvis. And then start to peel yourself up. Feel that open more and more as your knees and thighs reach away from you or away from your head. Shoulders are nice and flush on the ground still. And then think like you have a marble that's now like right at the top of your sternum. You want to soften it and try to get it to go all the way down your chest towards your belly button. And then at the bottom, it'll land on your pelvis. And then you're going to do the opposite. So you're going to tuck under, feel that pelvis or the sacrum rather flush with the floor. That Marble is by your belly button, and then it's going to slowly roll all the way up to the top of your sternum. And then exhale at the top as you start to go all the way back down. Nice and smooth, rolling through your spine. One more time like this. Go up. And back down. Good. Grabbing onto that towel, which is by your glutes. You're going to reach your knuckles forward, open or yeah, open up through the wrist so you're not flexed. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. And then you're just going to reach towards your right foot, side bend to that right side, and then reach towards the left foot. Keep pulling the towel, reach towards the right, reach towards the left. You're not sending one shoulder away. You're just side bending. So bring that right rib and hip towards the each other on the side and then the left ribbon hip for four. Your head is just floating on top of your torso right now. Three, two, and last one. Lower all the way back down, drop the towel. Head comes flush on the floor again. Take a second here. And then you're going to peel yourself all the way up one vertebrae at a time. Again, you don't want your shoulders pulling in underneath you like you would in a bridge in yoga. And you're just going to tap your hips or lower your hips halfway down. Really find that hinge at the hip and then press up, opening through that hip. And then hinge and lower and then press up for eight. Four. Three, last one, pause here. You're going to rotate your hips, that right hip will dip, the left hip will lift, and then switch the other side. The knees 
stay reaching forward and think that they are like almost touching a wall so you're only rotating so much that they are remaining long away from you. Two more. Last one. Over to the right one last time. You're gonna tap your right hip down towards the floor and lift and right hip and lift. Keeping that twist. So think down with the right, up with the left for five, four, three, two. Last one, square your hips off, right hip lifts, dip with the left, pull up with the right. Dip left and pull up right. Four more. Two. Last one. Pause the top. Square your hips off. Come on to the right toes and then the left toes. And then you're going to lower your heels and lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. For four. Three. Two. Last one, pause here, and then slowly lower yourself all the way down one vertebrae at a time, lowering your heels, and then walk your knee, or your feet rather, about as wide as your mat, and then send your knees over to the right. Bring your arms into that goal post position. Take a second here, get a nice stretch through the chest as well. And then pause at the top and then bring your hips over or knees rather over to the right side same thing taking a breath here trying to find a little release through the low back a stretch and opening through the hips and the chest one more breath here good grab your towel Extend the legs long. We're gonna roll up from here. So arms reach overhead, back ribs are connected to the floor. As your hands come forward and they're in line with your eyes, curl the head, neck and shoulders up. Reach the knuckles long, press the back ribs into the mat as your ribs come close to the hips in the front and then roll all the way forward over your legs. Stack your spine all the way up. Bring your legs wider than your hips about as wide as your mat, and then bend your knees if you need, or again, if you want to sit on something um, to give you a little lift, go for it. Um, you wanna make sure you're sitting up with a nice tall spine, grabbing onto your towel. You are going to reach forward through the upper body, think, or you can quite literally do this if you want. I can back up and do it. You're sitting with your spine connected to a wall. You're gonna nod your chin, and then you're gonna peel your upper back away from the wall, but your low back stays connected over your legs for that nice stretch. And then peel yourself back up and place yourself back on the wall. And then again, nod your chin, peel yourself away, reach forward, your low back is staying connected with that wall. And then stack your spine up nice and tall. Your arms don't change height. So you're just reaching them long. Your ears are coming between your biceps. Reach, 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 reach. Stack your spine all the way back up one more time. And stack yourself up. And then drop your towel and put it off to the side. You're gonna come onto all fours now. <clears throat> hands right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips, and then find yourself in a nice tabletop here. From here, head is nice and long, crown of your head reaching away from your tailbone. You're gonna let your chest drop as a result of sliding your shoulder blades in towards your spine. 
making sure you're not arching your back here. So you're keeping that neutral spine. And then you're gonna press into the floor as you externally rotate slightly through the upper arm, press the floor away. Shoulder blades come away from your spine. Let them slide in and away. Again, keeping that neutral through the low back as you're going through these nice scapula glides or scap push-ups, whatever you like to call them. Two more. Last one. Good. Now, isolating through the low back. You're gonna widen the sitting bones, find a slight arch in the low back. The upper back stays still. Round through the low back. Try to get a little stretch here and then find that arch and find that rounding. Hips are really drawing in towards the ribs, but the upper back has not moved. And then pause in your neutral. From here, you're gonna send your right hip up towards your right shoulder, lengthen through that left side, but the upper back does not change. You're not side bending through the top of your torso. And then lengthen through that right side to bring yourself back to neutral. Lengthen the right side as you hike that left hip up. Really going nice and slowly here, trying to find a stretch. Over to the right. Think about reaching back through that left hip and then reach back through the right one to bring yourself back to neutral and then over to the left. And then back to neutral here. Pausing in the center, press the floor away. Without changing anything through your lower body, you're gonna tap your right hand to your left shoulder and then place it down and then pick it up and place it down. Notice if your weight wants to shift, if you want to arch your back, round your spine, pick your feet up off the floor, whatever it is, just take note. Two more, we'll switch to the left hand. And right hand down, switch into the left side. And put that hand down. And lift. Are your shoulders staying square to the ground? Are you locking out your right elbow? Four. Two more. Last one. Alternating side, right hand, left hand. Notice if this makes it easier or harder. You're adding more movement, a little weight transfer here from one side to the other. Going nice and slowly. Two more. Last one. and then walk your hands out in front of your shoulders. Sit your hips back, but think about reaching the tailbone and sitting bones back wide behind you. If you want, bring your toes together, your knees apart, making this like a bit of an active child pose here so you're not just fully collapsed into the ground. And then you're gonna come forward and find yourself in a kneeling plank and then bring yourself back. And you can bring your knees back to parallel if that's more comfortable or take a second to uh, double your mat over if you need one more time like this and we're gonna add on pause here press the floor away scapula push-ups so slide your spine your shoulder blades in towards your spine and press up and down and up and down and if this is too much, bring your knees back underneath you. Two more. Last one. Press up. Send your hips back towards your heels. Reach them back behind you and then come forward. And back. And forward. Two more. Last one, bring your right hand to your left arm and switch. And notice 
right away, I want to arch my back. So I'm going to tuck my tailbone under, try to find length through my torso. Moving nice and slowly, checking in on that weight transfer. Letting my abdominals actually support me rather than just arching my back and letting them fall towards the floor. Three, two, one more to each side. Last one. Reach the arms forward, bring your knees wide, and then sit all the way back onto your heels in a nice child's pose here. Roll your wrists out, give them a little break. You can bring your arms back by your sides and just sort of be in a little ball if you'd like or have them out in front of you. We're going to take one more breath here. Really think about trying to breathe broadly across your back. See if you can breathe all the way down into that low back. Like you're going to give yourself a little bit more space through the sacrum, through the hips. And then come back onto all fours again. This time we're going to move our legs, so upper torso, nice and stable. We've been here. And then float that right leg up, tap it down, and lift, and lower. Six more. Keeping the hips nice and square, finding length out of the front of the leg, slight contraction of the glute. Think about the glute and the hamstring meet where that is. That is doing all the work. Make sure your weight hasn't shifted all the way over towards the left. Two. Last one. Bringing your right or left forearm rather onto the ground. Your hips are square. Your hips are open. Keep reaching through that leg. Square your hips towards the floor, thigh down. Lift open and down, rotating around that left femur, opening through the hip, squaring your pelvis off towards the floor, and open, two more. Last one, pause here with your hips open, tap this right leg down, maybe you got a nice stretch here, and then lift it back up in line with your spine, and then lower down, and lift. And lower. Keeping those hips open for three, two, last one. Leave it open. Square yourself off. Press up with that right arm. Square yourself off. You're going to extend your left arm long. Round your spine. Bring your knee towards your elbow and extend coming to neutral. Round your spine. Bring it in and extend. Bring it in and extend. Four more. Three, two, and last one. And then bring your toes down after your hand comes towards the floor and then just reach back through your heel giving yourself a nice calf stretch here. And then plant the out or the inside edge of that foot down. Internally rotate that, what is it, left thigh. So your left foot comes out to the side. And then bring your arm up and over. This is the right arm. So you have a nice side stretch here. And then walk your hands forward. And then unrotate your leg but like fully rotate your body that was a terrible description you're gonna meet me with your right leg out and your left leg back underneath you and your right hands out now or right hands both hands in front of you you can tuck your left toes under if you'd like and then you're just gonna come back with your hips towards your heels open through the back or that back foot being your left foot and then your right leg is out to the side getting a nice stretch through the inner thigh and then come up Reaching back through the sitting bones, you're not rounding through the back. And forward. Four more. Three. Two. 
three. Two. The last one, you can stay wherever feels good. Untuck your toes if you'd like. And then when you're ready, bring this right leg underneath you. And then we're going to switch sides. So, left leg is going to come back behind you. Right leg is underneath you. Make sure that your weight is evenly distributed across your torso. And then float that left leg up and down. And up and down. Again, where this glute meets the hamstring. You can come onto your knuckles if your wrists need a break. Pressing the floor away. <clears throat> two more last one bring your leg up and your right forearm down left hand is on the mat so hips are squared towards the floor open up towards the set and then square yourself off again if this is too intense on your knees you're just going to fold your mat under I took a spill at the playground this morning so uh, I'm going to pad that left leg and then square your hips up and open six more. I tried to walk up a slide and I was slippery and I fell. Three more. Two. Last one, pause here, lower that leg down and lift. Keeping your hips nice and open for five, four, three, last one, square your hips off, come onto your hands, extend that right leg out, or right arm rather, bring your elbow and knee towards one another underneath you, and extend, round to bring it in, neutral as you extend. You can have your palm face the ceiling. You can have your palm face in. Whatever feels comfortable. Two. Last one. Bring your right hand down. Open this right foot out to the side. Come down on the inside edge at least. Not the whole foot of this. What is this? Left leg. And then open up to the side for a nice side bend here. Let your head be heavy. And then walk your hands around. You can tuck the toes under on your back leg, on the right leg rather, and send your hips back and forward. We're gonna do this like six to eight times. Stop. And take a break if you find a particularly like sticky spot or a good stretch. You can always untuck your toes at any time. Two more. Reaching back with those sitting bones, last one. Pause and hold for a second for three, two, one. Good, and then come into all fours. One last time, bring your right knee underneath you and bring your left leg back behind you and come onto your forearms. Your foot does not need to be like parallel with the top of the mat. My heel is very much back by my left hip flexor and my right knee is all the way up by my right elbow. And then from here, you're gonna pull yourself forward. So think about dragging the elbows back towards your hips as you lengthen and try to find a little bit of extension here through the upper body. And then press down into the floor rather than away as you round. And then find that draw back of the elbows as you send your chest through your arms. And then round as you press down into the floor rather than away. Drag those heel, heels, your elbows back. 
then press down round. One more time. Wolf right sides. Last time, press down and round. And then just find a nice neutral position here. Bring your arms in front of you and then just round all the way over your leg for a moment. Or you can just stay with a nice neutral spine here, whatever feels better. One more breath. And then stack yourself up and then slide your left knee underneath your right. If this is too much, bring your left leg out in front of you, or you can have it tucked underneath you, or you can plant the foot on the floor with that right leg, whatever works for you. That's what I'm going to do. And then you're going to grab your right leg, bring it into your chest and twist towards the right side. Try to get that right sitting bone down towards the floor. You can bring your thumb in there to give yourself a little bit more space through the hip flexor if it's trying to seize up. And then untwist your spine, untangle your legs, and bring your left leg underneath you, left knee towards your left wrist, right foot wherever it needs to be and then come down onto your forearms. Find your nice long spine to start here and start to feel your uh, elbows draw back towards your hips as you try to find this length and extension and then press down as you round. You may notice on one side that you can get that extension on this side, I definitely can't. I can feel where it wants to be, but it is not happening. And then round, that's fine. You're just going to keep going in and out of whatever that thought of extension looks like. And then round. Two more. Last one. And then find whatever position feels good, whether it's laying all the way draped over your legs. Or not, just make sure those shoulders are nice and relaxed. You're not holding really any tension in that upper, arm, upper body. And then slowly come all the way up. Pull your left leg underneath you. Again, you can extend that right leg out, pull the left leg in and plant the foot, and then twist and rotate over to the left. Take your left thumb in by the left hip flexor. Taking a few deep breaths here as you're twisting. and then uncross your legs and then cross them in front of you or again, come to kneel on them, kneel, whatever you prefer. You're gonna grab onto the towel one more time, press it out in front of you, lift it up overhead, give it a gentle pull as you side bend up and over towards the right. And then reach from that left arm and rotate your torso towards the floor and then reach with that right arm as you rotate back to the center and then come all the way up and over to the left. Root down through that right side, reach through the right arm as you rotate towards the floor and then front, come all the way up. Lower your arms all the way down in front of you and you are all finished. Thank you. I will see you next week. It may